This is a paper that I'm oddly giddy about, especially given that the subject is showing how wrong I am about something. This paper here is work by Daniel, who's a graduate student at the University of Toronto, that I did together with uh, him and one of my favorite people to work with, Jay Hattrick Simpers, showing that the results from the paper that I wrote about eight years ago, that has received more citations than any of my other works, has some reproducibility flaws in it. Now, this notion of there being reproducibility flaws is something that I've tried to be transparent about. You may have seen another YouTube video or encountered my stump speech showing that, in fact, when I took my own paper, tried to reproduce it using Jupyter Notebooks, and I didn't quite get the same results. While this is something that I've been known, uh, or I've tried to make known and uh, serve as an example for the community, Daniel went through and actually did the hard work to illustrate that this result that I'm showing is not an irreproducible fluke, ironically. Now, um, so this paper here, the key bits of it is Daniel took a few of the key findings of my papers, namely um, the discovery of a few materials that could have band gaps which make them good semiconductors, and then went through and did the detailed reproducible work to explain how these results can't be found again. He goes through and explains how he took the data and software exactly from my paper, documented it in detail that uh, originally my paper lacked. I didn't specify the runtime environment needed for Java. I used 7. Number 20 is out by now. They're no longer compatible with each other. Explained exactly the raw data, another non-trivial bit. Wrote his own code because I didn't make it available and found different results than I did which is surprising and concerning. And in fact, some of my results are outside of the um, confidence intervals that he was able to pre predict. So there's no telling the exact settings that I use. That's not to say that any of my findings are uh, worthy of a paper retraction, but it's still something that people need to know about in order to avoid. And in fact, on the subject of avoiding, one thing that uh, Daniel and Jay and I brainstormed together were what are the practices that if I had done 10 years ago would have avoided this problem to begin with. Namely, if I had packaged that Java runtime environment, it would have saved Daniel and I hours of scratching our heads, wondering why my code no longer works on a modern computer. If I had um, provided the exact machine learning models available, we would be able to inspect uh, their predictions to ensure that we now have created the same model that we had been created, or, or we had that I had created um, eight years ago. If I had tracked each of my run scripts uh, using Git, I would have been able to pin down exactly the right inputs. And if I had made my paper mark each figure with the code that was used to recreate it, that would have made Daniel's job of recreating the paper easy, if not trivial. He'd be able to go and see exactly the same route I used to create a particular result. So this paper shows something that um, I'm both embarrassed about and something that I think everyone in the scientific community should know about and give some ideas on how to have others avoid that problem, such that hopefully more of you can get to um, up the learning curve on being a good scientist faster than I did, and we can all move forward more quickly together. Have a good day.